We all have a story, we all have a tale. Well, there's a place I've come to know well. Led by a man, a man named Stein. He's full of stories, he is quite a guy. Sit around the campfire and hear him tell his tale. Some may be able to relate to him quite well. We're all just people looking for a place to go. Well, Sty has made one, and it is quite a show. Come meet Sty, he's quite the guy. If you're feeling lonely, come and make a friend. If you need a story, on Sty you can depend. His voice is soothing like a lullaby. Sometimes he brings a tear to my eye. Sit around the campfire and hear him tell his tale. Some may be able to relate to him quite well. We're all just people looking for a place to go. Well, Sty has made one and it is quite a show. Come meet Sty. He's quite a guy. Well, hello everyone. How are you today? It's Sty Story Sunday. How are all you lovely people doing today? It's good to see everyone. Let's start by saying hello to the folks in the chat, shall we? It's good to see everyone. Kimberly Ferris, of course, you're first. Good to see you, Kimberly Ferris, my good friend, Blake Hurst. How are you, my friend, Blake? Good to see you, Mr. Fulton. Everybody, it would be Mr. Fulton's 21st birthday. Wish him a happy birthday. Eric Pollack, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Crazy Ann, how are you? Good to see you, Crazy Ann. The Gibbler, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Neighbor, neighbor Girl Bradshaw, it's good to see you, my dear. How are you doing? Oh, let's see. We have the hunt for heat. We've got Cindy here. How are you, Cindy? My brother-in-law, Freeman James. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Marcella Arbaugh. Marcy, very good to see you. Saucy Shane. We saw that chug challenge earlier. You did excellent, my friend. Good to see you. Oh, if you have not checked out Saucy Shane, check him out today. He did a the sauce, the uh, Chug 2.0 from League of Fire, the same one that Phil did. And uh, it gave Phil quite the fits, as you all saw. So you might want to check out Saucy Shane. If you have a weak stomach, though, you may not want to check out Saucy Shane. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have in here? Oh, Fox at Outdoors, my good friend Cliff. How you doing, Cliff? Good to see you in here. JDS, Lion Canuck. Hey, JDS, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, Joan McGilton is here. How are you doing, Joan? Very good to see you. Sorry, I'm not getting all of the uh, messages. Turkey Leg TV, good to see you. Mr. Bradley Whitworth, good to see you, Bradley. Elisa Kerwood, the, a.k.a. Rainbow Angel. Oh, Sai's eyes aren't doing so good today. Sai's having a hard time reading everything. 
those smaller prints a little hard for my old tired eyes so um so i am going to start off we do have one of size good friends tenuous grip how are you in the basement with me so we're going to bring him up how are you doing anyways mike hello side 2.0 how are you Good. How are you? You're looking good. Looking good. I feel good. Got a good. I got a good night's sleep last night. You know, stretched the old bones. Took a few laps around the senior citizen center. Nice. Met up with. Oh yeah, some of those ladies, man. Woo hoo! You know how those senior ladies can be. We had a good time. Good, good, good thing. Good thing. Senior citizen women cannot get pregnant. Good never, thing. Say never, never say never. You know the best thing about pregnant women? You can't get them double pregnant. Wow. I didn't know that. Nope, you cannot get them double pregnant. <laughs> uh, so we've got 22 people in the house. Please, if you would, share out the stream for Sty 2.0. Hit the thumbs up. We will be going, uh, we will be telling the story here in about eight or nine minutes. So it's good to see everyone. Let's see if we can read some of this stuff. My eyes are a little blurry, so I apologize. Uh, let's see what do we have here in the chat. Hey, Blake. Um... Good to see everyone. Good to see everyone. You take your pills today? Uh, my pills aren't until 12 o'clock tonight. So I take my pills around 12 o'clock p.m. I did have a run-in with the landlady today, though. You know, yeah. you know, she, you know she's always harassing poor old Sty 2.0. You know, she's, she comes over, she knocks on the door. I try not to answer. You know, we've got the little people, right? I know it's her. She knows I know it's her, you know. But, uh, you know, I think, I think right, I think... I think she's trying to get on my old tire bones or bone. I think that's what it is. I think, you know, they say you always, uh, you know, it's, it's like pulling a little girl's hair in school. I think that's why she always is over giving me a hard time. And then, of course, the lady that always thinks I have the barking dog, the mysterious dog that I do not have, uh, was by today as well. So, you know, the old ladies in Old Stein North, you know, there's only enough bone. I mean, only enough sty to go around. So, you we were popular today. We were very popular today. Hello, Terry Watson. Good to see you, Texas girl. Sounds like a he done took a little blue pill. Oh, I knows the little blue pill. Whenever I make my rounds, sty has got plenty of the little blue pill. <laughs> but the good thing is, is if we just Poof, dust now, so we don't have to worry about a condom. No one's getting pregnant with dust. Hike <coughs> right. with Mike. Hello, Hike with Mike. How are you doing? Oh, this old saggy skin is hot. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about maybe a nose job. Ladies like that big nose. Although that, that is true, you know, where the tongue goes, the nose is a little above the tongue. So, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can always substitute it. it always substitute. <laughs> uh, no wonder I've been smelling fish all day and I didn't eat fish. <laughs> you got a sore throat? You got a funny laugh. I do, do I? No, yeah. it's just, you know, it's one of those days, you know, when I take the little blue pill, it makes me feel young again, and I have a, you know, you know, things are, you know, a little different, so. All right, well, we are going to start the side story a little sooner than normal, so um, we wanted to talk about how Gunny Stai became Gunny Stai. You know, as a young man, um, Back in the 70s, um, Gunny Stye um, was, you know, but a wee lad, you know, just started to drive automobiles. Um, 
gunnery sergeant sty all right i was just a little sty at that point i got in an automobile accident on a stormy icy wintry morning morning gunnery sergeant uh, sty I, I totaled my vehicle and they claimed it to be my fault later in my youth thank you taylor to the stars thank you for the super chat later in my youth sty 2.0 was involved in a second automobile crash see now as a young man i thought i was a very good driver hello karen story how are you I thought I was a very good driver. I was, but I was a very impatient driver. Some of you in the chat may know that, that that's something about Sty 2.0 is that I'm a very impatient driver. I'm a good driver, but impatient. Um, after uh, graduating high school, Sty 2.0, was involved in a third automobile accident, all of which were considered to be my fault. None of them were reckless driving, none of them were speeding, but I was involved in a third automobile accident. Now, Sky 2.0 had never considered uh, going into the military. See, in my senior year in high school, I had a lovely young lady that I was infatuated with. There is no way that I was going to leave her behind. But upon getting my third uh, wrecking my third automobile within a matter of a couple of years, I lost my driver's license. They took it away from me. So what was a young man to do with no license and no job and soon I have no young lady in my life? Sty 2.0 went to the one branch of the All right, are we back? That was the most aggressive in trying to get Sty 2.0 into the military, and that was the United States Marine Corps recruiter. So, of course, when that third vehicle accident happened, Sty 2.0 actually went to the recruiter's office and wanted to leave because Sty 2.0's parents were out of town. So, with that being said, three months later, young Sty 2.0 was in United States Marine Corps boot camp in San Diego, California. From there, I stayed in, I did my 20 years in the service, doing several tours overseas. And that is how I became a gunnery sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. So that is your sty story for the day. Hoorah. Hoorah. All right, damn it. <laughs> I do that. Ah! I do that. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Them damn face masks they put, make you put on when you go into a store or this. I'm going to tell you what's worse. This. Woo! Holy mackerel. I know it's going to be a short story. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my real hat? Here we go. How are we all doing, man? I would be proud. <laughs> yeah, now believe it or not, that is actually my story. Um, <laughs> that is actually my story. How, uh, you know, I, I I thought about going to the military a couple different times when I was in high school. Always thought I'd go into the Navy. Navy was kind of, you know, I was a kid. I loved to swim. I thought Navy would be a great one, you know, swim, right? You know, Navy, water, right? All that good stuff. But, um, yeah, no, when, uh, when that third automobile accident came along, and I, I was already on a restricted license as a kid, um, and my girlfriend was in the car and everything else, it was like, well, that's, that's not going to work. So, yeah, my folks were on vacation, too, when that happened. So I was the only one at home. I was home. So I, uh, I called the recruiter's office and told him, I said, listen, I says, how soon can you get me the heck out of here? I didn't want to be, be I didn't want to be home when my parents got home. But of course, you know, they have that whole delayed 
thing in the military where you know you got to wait about three months before you could actually go in so i had about three four months to wait around until uh until i actually got to go to boot camp so it was craziness but and of course you know that gummy style did 20 years when retired I only did my four years and got out in 1990. So good to see everyone here. What's up, James? Gipe, Gipe, how are you doing? Good to see you. Adventures in, oh, go up one more. Adventures in the hot heartland. John, I got to start talking like me now. <laughs> John and Jan, how are you doing? What's up, Saxy Matt, my brother? How are you doing, man? Good to see Saxy Matt in here. You, if you like good jazz music, that is a channel to check out for sure. Saxy Matt. Oh, let's see who we didn't say hi to. I tried to say hi to everyone. I'm having a hard time seeing through the mask. Ariel Williams is in here with my glasses on and everything else. So, oh, looks like we got every got everyone covered. If I had, if I didn't say hi to you, feel free to say hi to me again. We'll shout out you. We'll shout out your channel. Um, two, two, two. We, we're, we're, we have a shortage of guests today, so I sent out the uh, my invite to my to the people to my regular uh, regular folks, and uh, so we're going to send it out to some other folks. So if if you'd like to come up, if you're interesting, if you're not, feel free to come and join us. We're getting tired of staring at Mike's ass. <laughs> No one super chatting you, Mike. I was trying to uh, I was putting a new wire brush on my grinder. There you go. Let me get Taylor to the stars up on the board here since he did give us a super chat. It's, um... <clears throat> oh. Thank you, Taylor to the stars. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're out my wire brush. Your what broke? We're out my wire brush. I was replacing it. Uh oh, you want the wire brush. What's up, Jason Childers Gaming? How are you doing, man? Appreciate it. <laughs> Neighbor Good Bradshaw says, I'm pretty boring. <laughs> we can always be the judge of that. You can always come up here and hang out with us. We can, always give, you, we can always give you the boot if you're too boring. I don't know which one to go with. Yeah, Close up, far away. Uh, it's, uh, rare, rarely do we only have two of us sitting up here, but it's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, the ladies are being shy tonight. Granny was on my panel earlier. She must have took a nap. Well, you, you must have wore poor old Granny out. Oh, she was in there like a roasted turkey in that damn shed. Well, she probably is either eating or or she had now she has to get her work done. You know, she was live on your panel and now she's got to get her work done. Yeah, she said she wasn't doing nothing today, so. Oh, okay. Uh. I wasn't doing nothing today either. Can I come up and go to sleep? Well, you can't go to sleep, but you can come up, Joe. Go to sleep. Yeah, so so, the, so today, I saw Mike earlier. Today, I got completely soaking wet. You know, we've been talking about all the dry weather we've been having and whatnot. And um, went over to the mother-in-law's, did a whole lot of weed whacking over to her place, and then wound up uh, getting a torrential torrential downpour i was stuck out in her yard underneath a pine tree for about 10 minutes and just realized it wasn't going to let up so i had to take the uh the zero turn up to the old uh, trailer out there in the yard as it is just coming down in buckets get you gotta you know you gotta anchor it all down you don't just throw it up on the trailer you got two come along straps you gotta wrench it down and everything and i got in my vehicle and i was soaked from head to toe <laughs> So, Taylor to the stars. I'll join you when I get my webcam next week. I'll be tailoring version of Mike, just sewing, sitting while everyone talks. All right. 
There we got someone in the basement. It's my good friend Nick Jones. What's up, Nick Hello. Jones? Hello. How are you, sir? I'm all right. A bit tired. A bit tired? Well, it's, you know, what? One o'clock in the morning there? Uh, about 20 past one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're usually a night owl. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out cutting grass and that all day. Yeah, I, I, I got some of the grass cut, but I didn't get everything I needed to get done. Matter of fact, usually I do her lawn and then I come home and do mine, but... Mine's going to have to wait until either Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, when I get home from work, unless yeah. I can find one of the uh, one of my boys into doing it for me. No, I'm only doing it because I'm, I'm get, buying all new equipment. So. You're buying all new equipment? Yeah. I'm just using cheap crap instead of still, so I'm buying still. Oh, okay. Hello, Jedzia. How are you? Lady Nighthawk, how are you? Hey, Mike. What? You should have left your beard on. It makes you look a lot more better. That's about the, about the, about the, shut up, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Joe W's like, damn, Mike, I wanted to hear that pounding. Dr. Was, Smith, was, what's up? I was being uh, considerate, but... Next time, Joe, I'll, I'll let it rip. I, <laughs> I timed Phil out today, so he he owes me one anyway. Yeah, son of a bitch. I I, <laughs> I was barely there to support the guy, and I get freaking timed out. I was like, all right, fine. I got better things to do than to hang around and watch this guy uh, yeah. tear shit apart. Right. Go we'll stand under a tree and get wet. Go we'll stand under a tree and get wet. Right. What's up, Lizzie Ann? How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Lizzie. Well, hello, Lizzie. Nothing but meat, baby. Wow. What's that? It's, that's a gorilla with a pug head on it, right? Yeah. That's crazy. The self portrait in it. <clears throat> well, it's better than what his normal portrait is, so. True. What did you do, Phil? I, I weed whacked and I and then I came home after weed whacking and mowing part of her lawn until I got drenched. I actually came home and got in the pool. The, the all the I weed whacked around here. That took me you know, probably another 30, 45 minutes around my own place. And then I was just so soaked and everything. Nothing felt right. I got in the pool and uh, something That's nice. A picture of you, Mike. What the hell? There you go. That's Mike. Yeah, that's a good look for you. <laughs> So how are you feeling today, Saucy Shane? Are you feeling uh are you, are you completely and fully recovered today there, Saucy Shane? If you guys didn't check, hasn't haven't checked it out today, if you're not subscribed to Saucy Shane, go over there in the chat. See Saucy Shane. Now you can't click on it, but you can take a minute, do the little, little search. You got a little search up here. There's a little search bar right above our live stream. You can type in Saucy Shane, hit search, it'll take you right to his channel. You can go in there, you can subscribe. You, put, you click a reminder to watch his Chug 2.0 that he did uh, on Saturday, but posted today. So they say um, spews get viewed. Well, you, you won't be disappointed. So <laughs> Now, if, if they count spewing in your mouth, you didn't make the time. But, you know, your timer, you'd already chugged your bottle and your timer had timed out. So you had to go through. So you got plenty of time there, Saucy Shane. But. Since Saucy Shane was doing it, his cheek was full with about three, four seconds left. Um, yeah, he, he 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 was he was not doing real well at that point. So I don't know how you guys do that shit. Congratulations! Yeah, you had you were seven ninety five when I watched. That means you picked up five since then. So congratulations, man! It won't be long, Saucy Shane. And you'll be up to a thousand. You, you know, you keep putting out, you know, reviews. You got Snacky Snack Saturday. You got Saucy. You got. You keep putting out reviews. You keep putting out regular content. That's what people like, man. You keep doing that, dude. You're gonna be there. So, don't give up. Just keep on doing it. And there goes Crazy Ann. She posted it in the chat. So there you can go see it. You can you can save it. You can subscribe to Saucy Shane if you're not. I, mean, I would imagine most people in here. 
are already subscribed to Saucy Shane. He is definitely uh, one of my top ten regulars on my channel whenever we go live here. So. You want you want to join us this evening, there, uh, Blake? Yeah, Blake. Or or Cindy, you're more than welcome. Shane, if you got a if you got a decent connection, Chaucer. I reckon we should get Lisiano. She's been up here before. She's more than welcome. See, guys, if you have to wait for me to give you an invite, you're you're you're, you're just I I am not very good at I tell that to my uh, the people at my work. You're waiting for me to invite you. <laughs> Be waiting a while. Be waiting a while. So what I haven't seen you in a while, Nick. What have you been up to? Uh trying to get this gardening business up and running. Oh yeah? I'm getting busy with me bees. So how's the gardening business? I mean, how how many uh, do you have? Uh, a good I've number of people. Thirty. You know? 30? 30? That sounds good. No, because it's just shit jobs. Yeah. So I'll take time. I'll get there. So, so you're th mowing thirty lawns a week? Mm, normally about fifteen, but it's not like just ju just doing that. I do all the weeding. Uh, tree felling, weed control, and that. So. Hey, Gil Skills, how are you doing, Bob? Gil Skills. Yeah. He, he, must, he, privileged. he, must, he, he, he must have thought this was a um, um, story time Sunday. Right. Hey, Teresa, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you, girl. Put the, oh, did I put the wrong link? Did I put the wrong... Uh... Well, I got up here. You want to click on the link, right? There we go. Good to hear, Bob. Hey, Bob, when are we going to do these uh, Twinkies? I got a box of Twinkies over here that are going to go by the expiration date. They're still good. Yeah, they, I don't think they... I think it'd take a long time for Twinkies to expire. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That'll be good. Jeez, oh Pete, really? Really? Do I get a good boy? Are you gonna scratch behind my ears too? Rub my belly? Never mind. I put on <laughs> belly and see what grows. Oh that's what you got your puppy for. I got to admit, I've seen the most horriblest sight that I've ever seen. Look in the mirror? No, blooming, blooming, Mike blooming, fucking spicy dancing with his fat cut out. <laughs> when, when was this? You, I think you were dancing with your daughter. Oh, that video. Oh, come on. She, she, her, her cuteness far outweighs any ugliness that I had in there. No, I was just seeing how fat your belly was, see if it was fat oh, or mine. I'm, I'm fatter now than I was in that video, so. Yeah. What's up, Blake? What's, What's up, Blake? Granny? Hey. How you doing, good. man? Good. How about yourself, you having a, Are you having a drink tonight, Granny? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, Granny. I'm drinking for you. Okay, that sounds good. What the hell are you drinking? Wine slushies, man. I buy them about a half gallon a gallon. <laughs> Lime slushies? Wine, yeah. Lime? Wine. Wine. Hey, wine. W -I -N -E. <laughs> you know, we want you some wine with that cheese or cheese with that wine. Right? What? Wine. I don't know what such thing as wine slushies. Some and, and, I did, and I didn't really put oh, wine look. in plastic milk containers. <laughs> yeah, Horse Creek Winery down here. What's a, <laughs> what, the, what kind of backwoods shit is that? <laughs> we can judge you, buddy. We put everything in a milk jug. 
Well, that was one thing when I was in um, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. They served two, three beer there, and they served you. You they you ordered it at, from the bar if you weren't ordering an individual glass, which didn't make any sense. It was like drinking water. You know, they you bought it in a gallon milk jug. Hmm. I'll be up in a bit eating dinner tacos and sweet habanero sauce. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds good. I had tacos for dinner. Mm. <laughs> wine slushies. <laughs> she's, she's jealous of your wine slushies. They're good. I don't know, I don't know how I'd want a wine slushie. You're missing out, man. You'll have to send some to Granny because she likes wine. I drink an occasional glass of wine. <laughs> I drink an occasional gallon of wine. <laughs> no. I, I drink that like a glass at a time in moderation because that stuff gives me a headache. <laughs> now, that place that you get it from, is it really like wine or is it more like a mead? No, it's a wine. It's an actual winery. Oh, okay. It's called Horse Creek Winery. Okay. There you go. Whiskey and co That sounds good. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that that old uh, Sky 2.0 mask. <laughs> that was hot. Yeah. I don't know. Could you guys hear me? Okay, I was trying to speak yeah. up. Okay, it was just off. It was just a little muffled, I would guess. So you're ready to take on another challenger, Blaker? Man, I'm ready to do it. I, yeah, I was saying. With that, I said, I think I can beat two minutes and six seconds. You think so? Ooh, I think so. Man. Now, did you order one then? Not yet. I, I, right. is, it, is it from a certain company or Willie Pete's? Willie Pete's? Willie Pete's chocolate. I'll get on that tonight then. Yep. You know, what I was thinking we could do is we could probably. We might be able to talk some ordinary folk into like doing um, a death nut challenge. Oh, we, if we could get six to nine people together uh, for a live stream, which would mean with me on here, we'd have to get five to eight people on. If we get five to eight people and a couple of weeks from now do a live stream, that'd be cool. Are there any uh, Are there any takers in the uh, chat that Can would like to do a do it? What's that? Can I rinse them off before I do it? <laughs> wow. Uh, I think I think that would be cheating. Oh, oh well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> How hot I is think... the death nuts, guys? What's that? How hot is the death nuts? Uh it's not it was it was like one of my entry level um challenges. So it, okay. it, it won't it won't be as hot as nothing. There's a lot that's not going to be as hot as the Satan's Pleasure Bar that you did. <laughs> but again, you don't. None of these do you want to take lightly because as soon as you don't prep right or don't do something right, I've done it several times myself. Like the League of Fire hot sauce I did a couple of weeks ago. As soon as you take yeah. something lightly, man, that's when you pay for it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good if we could get Mike. Do you, do you have one there already? You're down for a death nut, or you're done for a death nut. <laughs> so if we could get, like, so if we get Saucy Shane to do it, if we could get Mike to do it, if we could get Blake to do it, if we could get uh, Ojasan Marcedel, you could talk to Ojasan, that'd be great. Get Jim to do it, that'd be great. Anybody else? Any other takers in here? I hate to speak for the ladies. Are there any ladies in here? Uh, Joe, w, maybe Joe W would join us. Tenuous, that'd be awesome. We get tenuous in here to do a death nut challenge with us. I don't know how long it would take to get a death nut challenge over there in the UK. Tenuous would probably have to go to the league of fire.com. And I bet you, and I bet you, um, oh, Marcy, Marcy's down. Well, hell, oh, that's right, because you're you are the spicy person, yeah. All right, all right, so what do we? What's today's date? We, this is the 19th, right? 
All right. We, we should make this on a Saturday. That way we get plenty of people in here. We get people from across the pond. Let's take a look at a calendar here, shall we? So August, August, August. Um, how, how about a month from now? We do it on August 15th. August 15th gives everybody almost four weeks to get them. If you order them within the next few days, you can go to Amazon, Doc, Amazon and order them. If you're in the UK, you can go to the League of Fire .com and order them. So if you're, you know, so if you're, so again, if you're across the pond, you can get them from over there. Hey, it looks like Sterling Silver. He's he's he volunteering to do the Death Note Challenge too. And I am. <laughs> and how you doing? I see. Good man. How you doing? Blazing Food has them too. Oh, doing great, doing great. The same, can't complain. Yeah, well, Blazing Food is where you get them direct. That's they're the ones that they're the manufacturer of the thing. So, yep. That's where I ordered your shit from. <laughs> you should get it. Hello, food. Granny Mike. Yeah, right. I've been kind of, I've been kind of looking at the, we're looking at the mailbox for yours and a couple other things too. What's up, Ross Rome's? How you doing, man? Well, I'll get mine ordered. I'll get mine ordered tonight or tomorrow. So actually, um, Siri, remind me tomorrow to order a Death Nut Challenge. Done. There we go. Done. Done. Yeah. What's up, Raven the Blackbird? Hey, Raven. So you think you're down with that, Sterling Silver? You think you can do a Death Nut Challenge? The, um, the uh, Death what now? Think that boy now. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to be clear what you said. I heard challenge. Yeah, the some death challenge indeed. Nut challenge. Yeah, challenge accepted. Okay. All right. Oh, you'll, yeah. either, you'll either need to go to Amazon or uh, I know you work at Amazon, but. Uh, no shit, I do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, you, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you don't just pick something off the shelf there. I'm sure you're like everyone else and have to order it, but. Well, I, I, I count it, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out. It's called the Death Nut Challenge. We're going to be back here on August 15th. We'll probably do it August 15th. I'm going to guess right around 5 or 6 o'clock. We'll come up with a firm date on August 15th. Um, well, good thing my my time my time has changed, and so I, I used to get off at around 6, but now I'm off at, at 3.30. So, yeah. Yeah, I get off of work at 3. I usually get home by 4. That would give me an hour or so to uh, eat and do what I what I need to do to be ready. So have the live stream ready and everything else. Be sure to have the mar uh, calendar marked. Well, I got it marked. Once I put something out there like this, there's no doubt about it. So I did that um, when I did those 39 chocolate bars back there. You know, that was June 1st. And holy oh, uh, macro. So, <laughs> B lady, miss the story. How you doing, B lady? You have hey, to go back and watch it. I was in, I was in full sty 2.0 mask. And we actually told the story. It wasn't long. We actually told, and there goes Hunt for Heat. So if you want to join us on the fifteenth, Hunt for Heat, just put a link in there. Mike, you don't do spicy, do you? I might do it. We'll see. All right. Whoa, I'm not. I'm not volunteering for anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Granny, if you gave your husband sex more often, he wouldn't be outside the she shack. <laughs> 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 I'm getting the look. When she comes out here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> went in the house the other night after drinking those Coronas, boy. Throw that old man up. Now he's <laughs> he expects it all the time now. Uh, so there's so there's there's the one for blazing food that Ann's putting out there. Uh, I don't know which one is um, this one, but the, the the thing says they are cheaper, so. Amazon usually is Amazon. You can usually buy multiples, or you can find stuff cheaper going that way. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, there's there's plenty of uh, multiples you can yeah. like file around. Our friend Alicia Kurd would to know how your cat is there, Michael. Is your cat anywhere around? No. No. Okay. Rando Rambo, how you doing, man? He's upstairs sleeping. Howdy, folks. I ate plutonium nine extract once. Nine million scovels. My face went numb, and it was brutal, but I pushed through. How does the death nut compare? Um, you know, I've never done... When you're talking plutonium, you're talking about the... Um, the only plutonium I know is the one from... Um, Got to keep thinking of the name. Um, 357. What is it? Oh, God. Mad Dog 357. I mean, you, you, I mean, if you're doing Mad Dog 357 plutonium, I mean, that's just hot. That's the hottest thing I know out there. It just depends on how much Mad Dog 357 plutonium you did. Did you do the, you know, the tip of a toothpick like a lot of people do? Yeah, 357. Or did you do, you know, you know, there, there are people out there like Johnny Scoville and Roger Trier that haven't done an entire bottle of that mm -hmm. stuff in one sitting. And that'll tear you up. I don't recommend that. So, yeah, that's that. That's an extract there, Rando, and that stuff will tear you up. And that's probably one of the hottest things you can uh, put in your mouth and go through your belly. So, that's what she said. Yep. <laughs> right, I'll catch you later, spicy. All right, Nick Jones, you going to join us? Uh, no. I don't do spicy food. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Smart man. Hi, Granny. All right. Uh, Bugger off, Nick. Later, Nick. Take it easy, bud. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah, whatever. To be honest, the spiciest thing I've ever eaten was just a whole green chili pepper. From, I believe, Olive Garden? I don't know. Uh, some... But yeah, all I know is I've that's the spiciest thing I've ever eaten. Okay. Yeah, I, I, again, I wouldn't. Whole toothpick. Glad I didn't do more. Yeah, I know, right? And I've seen people, you know. Oh, the mad dog. The mad dog is is, is not cool, man. It, that I mean, I still said if someone would buy it for me, I'd do it. I wouldn't do the whole bottle, but I'd do enough to. Uh, I'd do enough. But it, you know, ain't no one spending a hundred bucks to see me uh, hurt myself. So, I'll pay for it. I'll send you the hundred bucks if you hurt yourself. Yep, both Blazing Foods and Death Nut Webs. Oh yeah, yeah, they're both owned by the same. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. So we know we got Mike going. We got Blake going. Uh, we got. Marcy's doing it. Sterling says he might do it. Sasky Shane said he'd do it. What about Joe? Joe, Joe, do you do spicy stuff? Did you already answer me earlier? That Saucy Shane says ordered. <laughs> bottle of what? It's a bottle. Of, it's not like it's not. It's the same company that makes this. It's Mad Dog 357. But it's called Mad Dog 357 Plutonium. It's nine million Scoville extract. So, like, um, this is an extract, which is thirteen million, and this is a sixteen million extract. Of course, Good I Lord. do one of these right now, but I don't have anything on my stomach. I haven't eaten for <laughs> an hour, so in my truck. that wouldn't be good. Glove box or either console. <laughs> uh. So, so is, is it been a whole day of doing nothing today, Granny? I went and fed the ducks. <laughs> After Mike's dream, I took off, and that's where I've been. There you go. So, there's another one. Hey, I got to start writing these names down now. What, yeah. what, let's we'll see who said yes to it. You're getting too old to remember all them names. That's right. <laughs> all right, so we got Marcy. 
We got Shane. We got Blake. We got Sterling. We got Joe. <coughs> oh, who am I missing? Who am I missing? We're missing someone? I'm a question mark. <coughs> question mark. Mike. E waste. Got a question mark for him. I would not do it just asking the name. All right, B lady. Tenuous, are you going to do it? Can we get, can we get tenuous in there? I would ask Elisa, would Elisa want to, or Elisa's husband want to do it? I don't know. I want I want to be all inclusive of anybody who wants to do it, but it's it's an awfully spicy challenge, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what Elisa's. Uh, oh, here we go. Saxy Matt's here to volunteer to do the death nut. No. <laughs> He's like, no. Probably Anybody who the 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 was back. forced to do the challenge. Now, <laughs> Apparently. If I can take nuts and put my own hot sauce on and do it with you, then yeah. <laughs> You're going to no. put hot nuts on your nuts? That's an entirely different live stream. That should be, <laughs> That's that should a whole other channel. channel. Not my channel. <laughs> I got I got a feeling that might hurt worse than uh, actually eating the death nuts. So probably. Well, what about you, Taylor to the stars? I see you say you would rather watch you guys cry in pain. Do you do spicy stuff? I don't. Ann don't do spicy stuff. She hasn't. Even, have you touched that uh, white lightning yet, Ann? Rando Rambo, you want to join us on uh, August 15th? Everything spicy. Come on, Rambo. 99 bucks. I know, right? That's why That's why I haven't bought it, B-Lady. It ain't cheap. And it's only like an ounce or ounce and a half of that shit. But that's, that's an ounce and a half too much. <laughs> Tiger Muskie, what's up, man? How you doing? I thought you come out the death nuts was ninety nine dollars. I'm I'm out. Yeah, no, no, no. I'd be I'd be out too. Because because I'm because I'm thinking about I'm thinking about ordering me eight um, boxes of the bikes. Ooh, damn. Oh, yeah. Well, Johnny Scoville did seven, so records were made to be broken, right? So I was one that had done the most prior to him, and I had done the most at Correct. three. So the worst, the worst part would be about doing eight of those is that last square is equal to a yeah, square. Yeah, I could beat LA Beast. The what? I said if I could beat LA Beast, I'll be happy with that. Well, yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be quite an accomplishment because that's can, can can you can you swallow large chunks, Blake? <laughs> Sounds like a person. I don't want to say that on live, but yeah, I could swallow <laughs> some stuff. <laughs> you know, that was my problem yesterday. Is I I can't you know that's why I can't puke. <clears throat> so. Yeah, you, loaded with caramel though. Yeah. Oh, the caramel is what's yeah. I mean if you if you can if you could chew make, do a couple of chews, break it down in your mouth and swallow and move on to the next one. Problem it make it'd be really easy if you could chew, 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 take if I could drink some water while doing it, I could wash it right down like that, then it'd be fine, but I can't do that. <coughs> yeah, I think I could have ate the Satan's pleasure a little faster, but that some gun was so damn hot. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've seen them heated up to drink it there, B lady. Not pretty. Somebody's done that. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, actually, um, Johnny Scoville's done it twice, wow. and of course Roger did it. Roger did it, and he put it in a bowl of ramen noodles. Along with a bunch of peppers that he chopped up, spicy peppers, and I think he put some 
tincture and stuff in there too. Roger looked like he was about to die when he was doing it. I have a bucket ready to just make sure there's no hole in it. I'll be right back. I got to get a lot. All right. Gotta get a lot. Um, you know what? I mean, there is no, there is no amount, um, B lady, as far as um, you know, there, there is no rules to that stuff. That stuff is just, it's insane. You know, if you do the whole bottle, you're, 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 just, you know, you're, you're, you're not right in the head to do that whole bottle of that stuff. So, what's up, Bob? How you doing, man? What's up, Tiger Muskie? Crazy Pickering, Picker, Pick, Picklers Gaming. What's up, Crazy Picklers Gaming? <laughs> I just said something else. When Roger ate those noodles, it was one of the most intense things I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Well, Roger's, Roger's a lot like me when he does those big challenges, is you can see the pain and stuff that he's in. A lot of these guys, um, like Dustin and Johnny Scoville, um, you know, they don't show or you don't see how much pain they're in. Um, yeah. Roger's one of those ones when he's doing something like that. He, uh, you can see the pain that he's in. So, <laughs> no, it, it came up because uh, Rambo had made mention of it. Um, B lady, that's why I just brought it up. Rambo brought it up. I was like, Yeah, the only reason I haven't done it yet is because how much it is. So, there is space there, um, Bob. Remember, there's nine now, and I can handle yeah, nine with handle. all these quiet people. <laughs> Mike's the, only noisy because he's up there scrapping. What's a hundred dollars? That uh, plutonium three fifty seven. Uh, I'll buy it for you. I ain't asking you to buy it for me, brother. I just want to watch the guy on screen. <laughs> I like to see you in pain. Yeah. A little disappointed last night. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, again, the mold the mold is a very filling, very hot bar, but it's not a super hot bar. It's not like some of the challenges that we do. So it, it, it's hot for a lot of people though. It was the hottest thing out there. Be um, you know. A couple of years ago, and then they just you know everybody between the Chili Cherry Nightmare, the Nemesis, Satan's Pleasure, and now there are some other companies out there that are uh, across the pond that are making stuff. So, so as it stands right now, it looks like we got uh, six people and myself. Mike's a question mark. He's one of the six and myself. We could get fill up a panel. That would be awesome. Gil. What to the up, Gil? It's good to Gil. see y'all. How's it going? Good, man. How are you doing? Oh, hanging in there. You know how yeah. it is. How's your wife doing? She's doing good. She's pretending like uh, nothing's going on. <laughs> Best way to do it. Oh, yeah. Just carrying on life, you know. She's getting all the treatment and everything she needs. Yes. Yes, she is. Uh, she has uh, one more doctor's appointment before she gets the surgery scheduled. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Yes, Phil, we need to schedule that Twinkie Fest. Right? What's up, JCT? Show, show Phil what I sent you, Bob. Uh-oh. Uh oh would you throw it away? Hold on, I'm looking. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Hold on. Wrong what the thing. hell? <laughs> what? 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 Oh, 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 hold on a second. Not, not that thing. Like, not, no. I'm curious enough to know what that was. I, I do now, Cindy. 
I thought that was our own little secret, you know? This, this, this was a present from Crazy Ann. <laughs> <laughs> you know Crazy Ann. She's pretty pretty interesting there. So, uh, hold, hold on just a second All right. here. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Twinkie the Kid. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah. Twinkie, Twinkie the, the kid. kid. That is cool. I couldn't I couldn't believe it. That is awesome. <laughs> a Funko Pop Twinkie. And I bought myself I bought myself a uh, a really nice mug too. At the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you were you scrapping and found that in the garbage can or something? I I, I found that in the uh, let's see, in a merch store somewhere. And I paid some money for it, and Zazzle. it just arrived someday. Zazzle. 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 Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> isn't that cool, B-Lady? That was cool, Twinkie the Kid. I've never seen that before. I, I didn't even know it existed until it showed up at my house. <laughs> Gil's going to be a Chippendale with pay pouch. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want to see I that. If, I don't know if I'd go that far. Hey, That's uh, a great dietary supplement if you think about that. Let, let, you right? let your imagination run amok and you'll lose some weight quick. Yep. So, some candies and Vienna sausage. That'll, that'll throw your appetite. You can let them get a nibble with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Gil's been on the live stream route all day today too. Have you been making the rounds today, Gil? Uh, a few, few. I was on the Dude Rocks channel for a little bit. I had a live stream of my own, and of course, I'm here now. Uh, it's really cool seeing more than six people on Streamyard. I've, I've never, I have never seen it before, so it's pretty. Come neat. on, I've seen a, I've seen a full panel of ten people. Once I found yeah. out that you can have ten people. Now, now having ten people on there, I mean, is that too noisy, or can you make that work? You can make you can make it it's work. Um, usually, um, people here are usually pretty kind of considerate. They're usually not talking over. I've seen you know panels where you got four or five people on there, and you have people talking over one another. So usually, usually the group of people I've got here, you know, you got Granny, you can't squeeze the word out of her. You step on her toe, and she doesn't say, ouch. <laughs> get her drunk, she won't shut up. That's right. <laughs> but, no, we, we, we had a good time with it. You know, we would go up to 10, and we'd go she back down to like 9, and yeah. then 8, and then go back up to 10. And We've only done it, I think, the one or two times, so... I, th I think, like you, most people forget that we can do it. Yeah, you know, because you were telling, and the panel is full, and it's like, well, actually, well, I, I think you have to have the paid version though in order to do it. Oh well, yeah, I when they when they started um, saying you only had so many hours, like twenty hours for Streamyard a yeah. month. Well, that's I had to go to the paid version. Yeah, that better. wouldn't work for you. I mean, you're streaming no. every day. Yeah. Well, when I ain't streaming, I'm on, you know, Styes. So, and I'm on Styes tonight, and Styes not here. So, I don't think it counts if you're on another stream with someone else. No, I'm. Mean, <laughs> no, it doesn't count. But. <laughs> but this, you know, this is normally Styes slot, Styes story Sunday. So that's why I went on an hour oh. earlier because Styes out camping. Yeah, you, didn't, right. you didn't see my thumbnail when you came in, Bob. I did. I okay. did. I didn't read too much into it, though, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, well, he was out a couple of weeks ago, and we did Around the Campfire on a Thursday night. And up here in the host position, I had Sty 2 point on my mask in another room sitting there completely silent in the host <laughs> position all night long. And then this time I decided, I because we had to tell a story, that I had to wear the mask. So. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last very long. The story was like three or four minutes long because I was dying in that mask. I can only imagine. Holy crap. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a mask, and then you got all that hair, too. You know? Mike's well, excuse, me a mask. Okay. excuse me a moment. I got you. 
Yeah, Mike's got a hot mask, but it's not covered with a bunch of hair. It's got a lot of hair on it. It's got the beard that goes like down. No, I'm talking about the one with the mouth is so. So, was there any truth to that story, Classy? It was completely true, my friend. Except for the 20 years in the Marine Corps. Yeah, when I was a young man, I, you know, I took the driver's test through school like everyone else, and I was a pretty good driver. When I um, won my my first car accident, I was actually on my way to work. Uh, a lot of places were shut down, and I worked in a in the Pontiac Mall here in Michigan, and we had had an ice storm, and. You know, they said, nope, nope, we're going to be open. People are going to be at the mall. You need to make sure you get to work. So I'm driving my old Mercury Zephyr, rear-wheel drive vehicle. And I get up onto uh, Telegraph Road, getting close to work. And two of my, my rear tires got off the side of the road on this icy, uh, icy paved road. And when I brought the vehicle back on the road, the vehicle fishtailed one way. I overcorrected, fishtailed the other way. Next thing I know, I was going sideways on a five-lane road down the wrong direction. The first car that I hit, or the only car that I hit, but the first car that was there was a state police officer. <laughs> hit my car, hit his car. His car went into a fire hydrant that had three steel protective posts around it filled with cement. Now, you say you hit the fire hydrant, right? Water spraying up in the air. No, no, those things have all got safety valves. So he hit the thing and took it out with his vehicle, but there wasn't any water. But there were a lot of cops that showed up at that um, at that death for me. So actually, I only got a ticket for uh, going too fast for condition. So that happened early on, and it was it wasn't. Um, but a couple years later, I had stopped to make a left hand turn. Into my work again, working. Car stopped here to make a left hand turn in front of me. We're both stopped. There's an extra lane of traffic, and I made a left hand turn in front of him, being impatient. A guy had just turned onto that road, was speeding up that lane, and he hit me. We almost hit head on. Um, luckily, I had been almost at a stop. If I had been going um, fast and hit him, then more would have probably happened. Now, I was in another Mercury Zephyr which was weird. And I had a big cinder block, solid cinder block in the back trunk of this car. This solid cinder block, because we hit almost head on the way we hit, it actually came through the back seat of this car. It's like a bench seat and hit the seat next to me. Now this is when cars, the front seat was a bench and they would fold, you know, they had the driver's seat and the passenger side. Mm -hmm. And it actually took out the back seat and the seat next to me. But when we, when I was finally stopped, there is this big, probably 300 plus pound cinder block sitting right next to me. Had it hit me differently, it would have hit my seat and probably would have broke me in half. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And then my third wow. one, um, similar situation. Crazy. Go to turn into some place. Two lanes. Two lanes have stopped for me to make a left hand turn. The only one that has it is the far right lane, which is a turn lane. And again, being young, you know, 18 years old, you know, instead of just saying, you know, go ahead and go, I've, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I turned, car hit me, my fault again. That was my license. I was already on a suspended license after first two accidents. So I went and found the Marine Corps recruiter, I actually went home and called him up on the phone. And um, I went the hell out of Dodge because my folks were on vacation. It was their first day they were gone. And I wanted the hell out of Dodge. And uh, I'm like, nope, you got to wait like three months. So, of course, I had to, uh, I'd taken my graduation money to buy that pickup truck. So, all of my graduation money was gone. My driver's license was going to be gone. No job. And it was going to be, you know, it was, it was, soon it would be no girlfriend, right? You got no job. You got no transportation. You got to have no girlfriend. So, I just, I figured the best thing for me to do was join the Marine Corps and, you know, when I got out, of course, you know, I got was able to get my driver's license back and everything else. So, but it was good for me. It got a lot of discipline because I was not a very disciplined young, young man. Not that I'm a terribly disciplined adult, but I was pretty stupid with my car from the years of 16 to 18, too. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my dad, my dad's got a story of his um, one of his cars be sliding upside down on wet grass Ugh. after he did something and flipped his car. So, what's up, Phil's creepy videos? So, I'm sure we've all got some kind of car story at some point in time. But yeah, I was, I was, and it wasn't that I was a reckless. We driver. got a lot of dirt roads down here. Oh, do you? Because <clears throat> in most cases, yeah, every, everybody either, until they're about 19, they're a dirt truck breaker. Oh, we couldn't hear you. Yeah, you're buffering, Blake. Yeah, you you moved mine, though. Again, I was either stopped or almost stopped. My lagging stuff happened, so yeah. Yeah, you got a lag going, Blake. You might try going out and coming uh, I'll back. I'll come back. Come back in. Okay. I'll put that link back out there again so you can find it. <clears throat> I, let a friend of mine, I, I let a friend of mine uh, use my car. We were at a my one of my best friend's girlfriend's house. Uh, it was like seventeen, and. Uh, I had another friend of mine with me, and he wanted to use the car to go to the store, grab something, and come back. But he didn't have a license at the time, and I knew it, and I was stupid. So I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. Just use the car, come back, uh, you know, and whatever. So I, I'm, we're all in the front yard talking. And uh, not too long after, we, we see this guy coming around the corner in my car going backwards, just showing off going backwards, coming around the corner. He swung the wheel the wrong way and ended up hitting one of my best friend's girlfriend's father's car. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He came out, and there was a hell of a thing. Mm. There wasn't really much damage. I pushed his car. He pushed his car into the curb. He says, uh, you tell your parents, or I'm going to tell your parents. Well, I didn't tell my parents. <laughs> <laughs> we got a phone call one day, and my father damn near threw a table at me. So, oh man, man. That, that was fun. Yeah, my poor dad. Both of those first two Mercury Zephyrs that he had, he had bought those cars. You know, we were sharing the one. I think we might have been sharing both of them when that all happened. But yeah, the, yeah, yep. So we've got car stories that. Uh, anyone can share that with what's going on? Yeah, you got a car story there, Sterling. Then I then I've got the one for you guys. So um, right now I've got a 2010 Honda CRV. Before I had that, um, uh, I had a 1997 <laughs> Mercedes convertible. Those Mercedes convertibles that have wipers on those headlights. Okay. Um, and so um, it was my mom's before I started driving. When I was like 16 years old, that was when I got my license. So that was the very first car I started driving. Um, I drove that for about uh, six years. And this was right before I got my first uh, job ever at Kroger. Um, uh, and so this, and this was like six, six years ago. Uh, and uh, and I was heading over to my first job offer, not my first actual job, but first job offer at this place called Cutco, which I found out is not, in my opinion, the very precise, accurate place to work at because it's like a soliciting place. But anyway, I was on my way down there and there was like a, a swarm of cars in traffic. So I stopped right at the end of the traffic and somebody behind me wasn't paying attention and just and hit me in the back and shoved me right into uh a lady's car right in front of me and my car got the total uh the most out of all the cars and you will not believe who uh you, who it was so i was pretty damn mad about it until i saw that this particular person just happened just fucking happened to be my old next door neighbor in my uh, hometown. <clears throat> Just imagine that kind of story. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah. So, it's a relief you ask me, but but still, it's, but uh, but yeah. So, unfortunately, for a damn decent car made right back in the '90s, unfortunately, that was the end of it. And then about 
a month later, I got the 2010 Honda CRV. So that's the car I've had ever since. Then a month later, I, fir I finally got my first actual job at Kroger. I was a courtesy clerk, and I was a janitor for two years. And I before I started doing uh, fulfillment work for Amazon, then Walmart, then back at Amazon. So that's my car story, for you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've been in other accidents, but none of those were my fault. So, I had a stupid, yeah. I had a stupid lady. I'm, uh, I'm going through a small town, going, you know, 20, 25 miles an hour. She's got a stop sign. I don't have a stop sign. It's an intersection, kind of, but I don't have a stop sign. I'm coming up to it. She stops, and I can, and I'm still going, and I can see her start edging, and I'm thinking, well, she's gonna see that it's time for her to stop. And she never stopped. And I stopped, and she just ran right into the front end of my car. I was stopped, and she just ran right into the front end of my car. And the funny part is the police station was right there. <laughs> and it's just like, I couldn't believe it. It's just like, it was one of those things where it was happening in slow motion. And I thought I was going to be able to stop in time, but couldn't believe that she was still going. And then when she told the cops, was, she was paying more attention to her grandchild in the car seat in the back seat. Than she was to the road, and that's why she ran the stop sign. But yeah, no. Luckily, it wasn't too much damage. It was, you know, insurance claim and everything else, but you know, a couple two, three thousand dollars worth of damage, and my truck's still doing good. So, yeah, I've been driving since two thousand six, and I've only been in two accidents. One wasn't my fault. One was my fault, and the one that wasn't my fault, I was on my way to school at college. And I was going into from the right lane into a right turn lane, and there was some traffic built up. So I go into the right turn lane, and woman in her car decides to gun it into the right turn lane, and she hits me flush like this, my left bumper to her right bumper. So exchange papers, call the cop, and park in the in the Shell gas station, and then the cop comes to me and says, "No, it wasn't your fault." She failed to see you, even though she cited it was uh, the sun was bothering her. Well, that's not a valid excuse. No. You got double, triple check. So everything gets cleared. Then uh, got a letter saying that she wanted to sue me. Uh, from, well, and I, I didn't even bother with the court. But then my grandfather goes, oh, you should have gone. You could have gotten money and it would have been a good experience for you to learn the court system. So, And then the other time... Uh, I was pulling out of a Culver's, and there was a it was a two lane two lane road with a, a middle turn lane, and the people on the left side let me go out, and I was peeking around trying to make a left out of there, and as soon as I started going, there was a car coming up speeding, rammed into the back uh, right passenger seat of mine, and unfortunately that was my accident. Yeah, one of those failure to yield like mine, yep. Yeah. So, knock on wood, I'm still here. <laughs> right? Hey, Bob, I thought I saw you tell Will the Rocker you had another story. Oh, yes. Yes, it, it's, it's a quick blurb, if you will. I, I mean, it was like the first day I had my car, and I'd taken it to work with me. Uh, and on, on the way home from work, I mean, I, the sun was in my eyes, and uh, I accidentally rear-ended a pregnant lady, uh, yeah, uh, at a red light. She, we were at a red light. They were stopped, and I saw her, oh, but I man. saw her too late, you know, so I, I slammed on the brakes, and I wasn't going that fast. I just tapped her rear bumper, but, I mean, can you imagine, like, a 16-year-old doing that, and a, pre a lady, I mean, full-term, like, ready to give birth to her baby, gets out of the <laughs> car, and I thought it was the end of the world at the time. Uh, I was like, I'm just going to be grounded until I'm 30. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, all, all was well. She was really good about it. How old did you say she was, Gil? What? He uh, yeah, I, was, I, I, was, I was 16. He I, was, I didn't, oh, I didn't, you were 16. I, just, I was going to say. Yeah, I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't disclose her age. I don't know how old she was. She was older. <laughs> Well, to be honest, there was somebody that I knew in high school when I was a sophomore that got pregnant at that age. That's normal nowadays. It is. It is. It, as a matter of fact, it is. 
yeah. yeah, young men sometimes can be a little reckless when they get that driver's license. You know, I find I find that young men don't seem to uh, be as interested in getting their license at age se the second they turn sixteen anymore. I know none of my boys were all like, you know, the second they turned sixteen, they had it. I mean, when we were fifteen. You know, we went to school in the mm -hmm. summertime because they would do driving school during you know for two weeks in the summertime. It didn't cost us anything. And we'd have our driver's license by the time we turned 16 years old. That was our freedom back in the day, right? We didn't have any of this Facebook and social media or anything else, man. You got in a car and you went somewhere. You were not. You tried to never be at home at that point. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, like Somebody, I said, I got my license at uh, age 16. Me too. I got mine at 18, but. Blink, are you asleep or froze? Oh, yeah, he was froze, he was froze for a second. <laughs> My son got succumbed to the coolness factor uh, of having his car. He's had his car for probably about a month and a half now. Well, we got a speeding ticket a couple, three days ago. Yep. Yeah, he was going 90 and a 65. Ooh. Wow. Damn. Ooh. Now, what does dad do when he hears his boy is doing 90 and a 65? I damn near had an aneurysm. Uh, when I found out, and then I damn near had an aneurysm when I talked to him about it. <laughs> um, well, it, you know, it's dangerous. First and foremost, it was da it's dangerous to begin with. And, you know, he had a 2004 Toyota Corolla. So, I mean, it's an aging car. You know what I mean? Can you imagine a 16-year-old car going down the highway at 90 miles an hour? Right. Um, wow. No. Oh, that, no. Would, that, that, that alone freaks me out. And he had a passenger. Oh God! Um, so if something were to happen, you know, he would have to live with that for the rest of his life. So I had to really drive that home when, when you know what I mean. He finally fussed up about the ticket, two hundred and forty dollar ticket. Oh, wow. Yep. See now, there's a there's a highway by me that goes north and south that connects to like the northern suburbs and two ninety four and to get into Wisconsin stuff. And you'll see speeder bikes on there. No joke. It's 55, 60, and they're passing me going 100, 105. And then the guy's doing wheelies and weaving in and out of traffic. And I'm like, geez, you are stupid. People love to tempt fate like that, don't they? Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're wearing your helmet. Big deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to do little at that speed. Yeah. yeah you, you go sliding. I don't think you'd want your helmet on. With that. Well, if, you're, if you're sliding, your helmet will be what's – the rest of you will be a greasy mark on the expressway. Yeah. But at least yeah. you, you at least at least you'll be conscious to see the rest of your body spread out over six hundred yards of uh, asphalt. <laughs> yeah, spread like jelly. Yeah. Yep. And you see them, and you see them on these um, YouTube videos and whatnot. I always wonder, amazed at the one guy the road rear right end of the car that's going down the expressway, and he winds up standing on the tr rear end of the car, winds up standing on top of the car. Like in the squatted position, it was like he couldn't believe that that happened, and he wound up on top of the car. Yeah. Well, during during the pandemic, police caught someone going a hundred and ten on I eighty eight going west, and they said that was a record. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> they think they I can go fast what they want during the pandemic. Yeah, I think the cop did my son a favor because I mean it was twenty five over the speed limit. I think he was going faster than that, but he won't fess up to it. Huh. Well, usually on a ticket, they'll put, if they're giving you a break, they'll put the actual mileage you were doing and then, you know, clock. Will you they do that? Huh? Will they do that? I've, I've seen it on, I think I've seen it on my own ticket from back in the day. Now, I don't, again, this is, you're talking current, but I've had tickets back in the day when I was doing like 15 over. And you know they have in the parentheses they have the, the but they wrote, only wrote me for yeah. five or ten over. See these aren't written anymore. They 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 do it all up on the computer and they print off a ticket. Mm -hmm. well, it, I mean, yeah. Again, it wasn't written. It was something that was electronically printed out. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. I once went ninety out of seventy, got pulled over for it. But I was just glad it wasn't five miles more or. or more than five miles, or I would have been fucked. Yeah, the re whole reckless driving thing, you got to be careful of that, man. Well, yeah, here in Texas, that's a, I don't know if it's 
misdemeanor. So 25 miles uh, per hour more the the speed limit uh, is, you know, like if it's like every state or if it's just Texas, but you know, like if you're going 25 more than 25 miles over the speed limit, that's yeah. going to be, yeah. That's that's they they would they could either arrest you or you would be summoned to court. There wouldn't be no getting out of it by just paying the ticket. You'd have to also go to court. Yeah. See, see with mine because mine was my first time. I didn't have to go to court, and I guess how they changed it was so I had to file the police report. I had to draw the accident, and you got to send it to Springfield. But what they did was they had me register yeah. online with our county court. And as long as I paid the hundred twenty dollars, they put me on the ninety days supervision. And as long as I didn't get another ticket within the ninety days, they took it off the record. But I had to be extra careful driving for three months. Cool. That's that's cool. So they basically they expunged it off my record, and and my insurance premium didn't go skyrocket because it was my first one through Liberty Mutual. Oh, I can't wait until my insurance. Premium comes in. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't wait to see that increase. Yeah, yeah. I got a, uh, I got a warning ticket in a town I go through on my way to work. I was doing. It goes from fifty down to thirty-five miles an hour, and I was jamming on the radio and whatnot. wasn't paying attention. I know where it goes down. I wasn't paying attention. I got over that hill. The second I got over that hill, there's a the police officer. But mm -hmm. he, was, he was, he was kind enough to give me a. A ticket that's not a ticket. He handed me this ticket. He says, no, this is not a ticket. He says, in Oxford, Michigan, you have a warning. If you get pulled over, I think he said, within the next year, they will. You'll, this warning will show in the computer, and they will give you a ticket. He said, so you got your warning. It's your one warning. Of course, luckily, the guy was a Marine, so we, I stood there and bs with him on the side of the road. Well, I was in my vehicle. I wasn't on the road, but he was. But for about ten minutes before he went back to his car, and the guy luckily for me gave me a break. So they do that in the state of Maine too. Yeah. What's up, Wanston? How you doing, my friend? Good to see you in here. How's it going, Phil? How's it going, Mister Fulton? Oh, good. You're getting close, man. Are you? Are you feel? Are you feeling yeah. good yet? <laughs> I am feeling great. I'm. I'm excited for tomorrow. Oh man. So are you gonna do 21. So are you gonna oh, do 21 okay. shots? Are you gonna do 21 shots or something tomorrow, Mr. Fulton? I might. <laughs> you don't seem like a big drinker to me. Yep. Yeah. Just remember the order of drinks matters. Beer before liquor, you will be sicker. Liquor before beer, you are in the clear. There you go. See, That's good. Oh, well, so I'm, I'm so drink all your heavy stuff first. And eat plenty of breads and stuff if you're going to drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Pretzels. Anything yep. heavier than I don't drink anything heavier than beer. This is this is my main thing. What? No bread like no bourbon. Yes. I don't. See, I don't see Mr. drinking tomorrow. I'm just. I'm just saying that. It, you're not drinking them. Mr. Wait, Mr. Wait, you're not to prove. He he could just yeah, sip right. on a nice little margarita. Call it good. Right, guys, I got to get going. I'll, I'll try that. Yeah, I'll All right, try. Blake, man. Keep it Blake. 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 Mm. I love a good margarita. Well, I've actually had a margarita, margarita once. As long as, it, as long as I got good tequila in it. Yeah. Wait, Phil, you can't drink? I don't drink anymore. I had so, I, I, I did I did all my fair share of drinking back in the day, so <clears throat> I, I'm I may I may again at some point in time. I'm just not right now. So it's been for me. It's been since April first, April Fool's Day, two thousand and nineteen. So again, I pro I probably will again at some point. Just for now, in my this time of my life, um, I'm not. So good for you, man. Trust me, there's trust me. There's plenty of days where I think about it. <laughs> He's adding up the credits for one big yeah. party day. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, well, well, me, I, you know, I, I, I would never go somewhere or go and just have a beer. You know, if I was drinking a beer, I was drinking at least six. You know. Yeah. And uh, so that that was always kind of me. So, you know, 
so now now that I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm not trying to drink, you know, for me to go somewhere and just have a beer, it's just worthless. To me, it's like, you know, I get nothing. I get no fulfillment out of having one beer. So why have a beer? Huh. So it's like, forget it. So, and, and I'm fine with it. I really am. I'm really fine with it. So, so it's go big or go home. <laughs> well, again, it was you know you you want if you're going to drink beer, you're, you're drinking. I, my thought process is you're drinking beer to get your buzz on, right? Well, you know, to uh, relax. I, I enjoy the taste too. myself. There's something to be said for the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you get into the craft beers, you only need one or two because they're strong as hell. <laughs> oh, there, there, there was a nice one. Uh, at a I can't take anymore. I'll be right back. I gotta, go get a, I gotta go get a beer. I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> no, go ahead. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. There, there, there was a brewery up here where I live that uh, made this one that was really nice. And it tent, I loved it. And I wasn't a real heavy beer drinker. As far as the you know the type I usually like like a Bud Light or something like that, and this thing was ten point three um, percent alcohol. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I liked it. I used to, I used to buy it in the um, the little jug thing. What the hell they call that thing now? Oh, a kegger? No, not a kegger. But it was like a small. No, it's a, it's a glass jug. I forget what they call the damn thing. But I bought it a few oh, times that way from them. So there you go, Bob's. Bob's making me thirsty. Oh, I figured I'd love to know what what beer is that, Gil? Uh, well, oh. nice. Oops, sorry, oh, Gil. Yeah. The wrong thing. Rolling Rock. There you Rolling go. Rock. Like Rolling Rock. Ooh. That's what's up. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got Heinekens and Peronis if I want one. What's it got in there, Gil? Got me some Rolling Rock, brother. But what's to have in it? Like, beer, beer. Oh, okay, barley. <laughs> oh, that's barley. Hops. That's a lager. It's carbonated. Isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like you find bread. out there's lager, there's IPAs. It's, it's a pale ale. Is what pale it is. ale. Yeah. Really? Huh? I've had IPA. I'm not a big. I'm not a big hoppy guy. I like the lagers. It's not an ale. Sorry, it says it's pale, but it's not an ale. I don't know. Because I eat hamburgers and steaks with it. Yeah. Ah, so I see Shane likes eating some Rolling Rock. Oh, it's good. And and it's cheap. It's inexpensive. I won't say cheap. It's inexpensive. It's inexpensive. <laughs> like a car sale Less person. expensive than Bud Light, I assume. <sighs> yep. Bud Light is usually like your cheapest. So. Yeah, pick so up an eight pack of bottles for 10 bucks or a little over 10 So bucks. there's a Camille. I'm so inspired. there's a premiere tomorrow at 10 p.m. on Change for a Dollar Stream. Um, he's doing a tribute for my 21st birthday tomorrow at 10. Where's that at? Uh, on his channel. Um, Who channel? Change, change for a dollar. Change for a dollar. What time? Mm -hmm. At 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern. Yep. 10 p.m. Eastern. Change for a mm -hmm. dollar. Go over there. Support Mr. Fulton on his 21st birthday. There we go. I might have to stay up for that. Right? <laughs> That's about the time I'll get home. Or actually, no, I'll be I'll probably be live then. So. But if we were if I remember it, we can maybe send some go over there and uh have some people come and raid you while uh while it's going. So Oh Let's yeah, Gil. Mind. I couldn't find. I couldn't find um, deep fried Twinkies. I was trying the uh, Oreo deep fried Oreos yesterday. You tried to eat. Oh my gosh! I can only imagine how good that must oh, have been. Damn. Mm. Yum. I never. I never thought I'd like deep fried Oreos, but there's a place by me called Mongolia Grill, and that they have that as a dessert, and it's three of them with. Vanilla ice cream, one of the best things I ever ate. Mm. <laughs> Damn, Joan, you lush. Wow, thirty pack in three oh, days. Shit, no, you lush. <laughs> <laughs> Joan, you could hold your liquor. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Damn. Now, <clears throat> now, do you keep those close by, Joan? Because I know you're not very mobile. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I usually get into the seasonal beers, like summer, fall, the October fest type beers. And Christmas time's really big for them. Mike's working on all those little gold flashing, you know, pieces. No, you know what I'm gold, doing? Copper, whatever. When I take all this crap mm -hmm. apart, I, the little pieces I throw in a little bin. So now I have to sort out all the pantalums and MLCCs and all the other fun stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, he's speaking a language that only Gil understands. Yeah. <laughs> it intrigues me. I love it. Tell you what, he is he is a he's a money maker, man. He knows he really knows his stuff. I want to retire. I'm actually getting tired of doing it. Are you? Yeah. I've got some health shit going on. I'm just I'm I have no energy anymore and it's it's just getting harder for me to do this, believe it or not. I mean it looks like I'm always busy, which I am, but since I got sick, I mean my energy level is just like kaput. So what would you do? I would be a pimp. You would be a pimp. <laughs> do you, have you already lined up some hoes? I got hoes. You got hoes. Mm -hmm. Now, where would you be? Would, is Warren a big place for pimping, or would you have to take your pimping somewhere else? Ho hoes don't count, buddy. You can't <laughs> go to the supermarket and call that. That won't make any money. Oh, I ain't got no hoes in. You got no hoes, and you're a pimp. A pimp with no hoes. A pimp with no hoes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna, I'd probably just sit and count my money. I don't know. But you could probably, you'd probably sit and play play video games with a fat ass next door. Yeah. That's you. No, no. You were talking about the guy next door that just, you know, he retired from wherever and now he's all gained all this weight, just sits there oh, and plays video games all day long. Buddy, he lives about a mile away from me. Oh, he lives about a mile away. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he used to be a mailman. He retired and all he does is smoke weed and play video games. Oh, that's he's crazy. Like, that's like the life. 58, 59. Don't come out of his house. It's like, dude, really? I called him one day. I said, you know what? Sometimes you go out there and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to get real out of this shit. I'm kind of down All it. right, Phil. I better get off here. I got a big day tomorrow. All right, Mr. Fulton. If I don't see you again, happy birthday, my friend. Big yes, twenty-one. Thank you. I salute yes. you. Happy Take birthday. care, Mr. Thank Fulton. Thank you, Phil. See you, thank man. You. See you later. That's a good kid. He's a yeah. He was. He's a good yeah. Kid. Are you Are you sleeping there, uh, Sterling? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Lay yeah. in his bed, head on his pillow, all nice uh, and comfy. No, I'm actually on a chair. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> very comfortable, you know, whatever he's in a live stream. I am a little buzzed. I'm not too buzzed, I promise you. <laughs> that would explain the deer in the headlight look. Yeah. <laughs> You've inspired me to get Rolling Rock, my next uh, beer uh, purchase, Gil. You totally should. I'll crack one open if you crack one open. Well, I've already passed you uh, on uh, this because I saw your message in the chat, so I passed it on. <laughs> I've had three of these today, four in total. That's probably the last one I ever had Very for this nice. weekend. Sounds like sleepy time. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Rest, brother. Randy slamming six packs. Come on. Yeah, right? <laughs> you get four and you're done. <laughs> she doesn't miss a beat. Nope. B lady, they're working great. Um, I have had to take Z Z Z quill pills uh, to help me go to sleep when I need to. If that's what they can, how you can say say those Z quill, you know, Nyquil and Dayquil, there are these Z quill pills. I just call them ZZZ quills. Yeah, Granny, the other night she said she was going to keep drinking Coronas until Mike looked good, and then she kept drinking until she passed out. <laughs> granny, I, uh, Granny, I would stay away from that with the pandemic going on. 
You gotta drink like Freddy. <laughs> 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 That was my choice even before that was going on. Now, are, now are you shut down in uh, Texas yet, uh, Sterling? Was I shut down in Texas? No, is, is Texas shutting down? Because I, I hear shit. Oh, Texas yeah, yeah. Down. Texas, um, yeah, our, yeah, shut down again about three weeks ago. All the uh, drive-in movie theaters shut down again. And, yeah, bars closed down again. Yeah, all the things that they planned. Yeah, everything's pretty much closed up again obviously not fulfillment centers and warehouses you know like right. being the essential worker that i am yep. but yeah and, and like every place outside of your house is you're required to wear a mask yeah they got the mask signs outside of all the places of business now we started it last monday and uh now every place that you go they've got signs on the door bigger signs now Thing, face mask required. Now there are some people that are wearing them in to get in and are taking them off inside and I don't think you know they're doing much to enforce it but it's, it's very few of the people that are actually taking them off inside so. Yeah there's very very few places outside of your house that yeah you you don't have to wear a mask. Like I know there's a particular Kroger that I used to work at that you know, like they don't have. You're not required to wear a mask. Not even the customers are in customers. So, but yeah, every every business place out there you go to, you have to wear a mask. See, I, I got a thing the other day um, sent to me in an email, and I forget who, what company it was from, but they said that these like these white surgical masks that we're all wearing, these cheapy ones that come, you know, fifty in a bundle or whatever. They say that those masks are good for um, 20 to 30 minutes in a sterile environment. Oh, wow. And for the most part, most of us are wearing these things days in and days out until one of the straps break, right? And of yeah, course, yeah. Of course, nowhere we're going is a sterile environment. So, yeah. So yeah. I've had funny. that happen to me at work a couple of times. Yeah, like the damn, the damn thing just snaps out of my ear and I had to go out and yeah yeah i i have to uh ask for another one yeah well it's funny because it's like it seems like we're back to mask again okay but it seems like um less and less the that the places that you frequent are doing things to sanitize i mean i i, I haven't walked into i haven't walked into a single supermarket grocery store oh. any kind of store and seen anybody spraying anything or wiping anything down it doesn't happen at my place of business. Yeah, and I don't see it happen at any other place. And the big, biggest problem, I mean, you guys got to keep washing your hands. Wash your hands should still be the number one thing that they're talking about, not these stupid masks, because the way germs get spread the most. I mean, think about it. If you're wearing a mask, you yeah, right? Look at Mike's hand. Look I wash shit. I wash my hands in 30 years. Probably. You got all sorts of stains on your hands. A lot of white ones, I'm sure. That's not the only place I got stains. That's right. And then the people that don't wear the masks properly. You know, the ones that don't, you know, the masks, come, it's like here down, <laughs> like your nose isn't covered at all. It's like, yeah. what's the point? Yeah. yeah. Or they handle the front of the mask and you're not supposed to. You're supposed to take it off from the ears. You're not supposed to handle the front. Yeah, they come out of the store and pull them off and fold them in half and have uh, both their hands on them and everything. And then you see yeah. them on face. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't do it right. Mask. Let's incubate some germs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I, I see all these places and you're opening door handles and everything else. And it's just, I don't know. I don't I don't want to catch anything, but I, I still think it's, you know, I still think 90% of what would help everybody is just washing your damn hands. If everybody wash your damn hands. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Nope. Yep. Just having a higher awareness. You know, if you you went out to the store or something like that, and you know, you come back, you use you know, wipe your hands with some hand sanitizer. When you get home, wash your hands. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. That's all. Again, I'm in, I'm in a business where you know you shake hands with customers all day long. Now, of course, we don't do that anymore. But when we did, that was always me when I would get done with people. One of the first things I would do is go wash my hands, you know, because you don't know what people are doing. You know, 
I, I see people in their cars going to work in the morning picking their nose. You know, I've 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 been in the, I've been in the bathroom going to the bathroom, standing in a urinal next to a guy that you know we both get done going to the bathroom. I go over to the sink to wash my hands, and he walks out the door. You know, yeah. he just got done touching his junk. And now he's out there shaking hands with the guy that sits next yeah. to him, trying to sell him a car. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and Take Phil care, and, I've, and I've seen people do the number two, and don't and wash, their wash their hands. hands. That really irks me. Yep. Now I well, got to touch door handle, really? Yeah. And you may not get poop on your hands. It's quite possible you may not get poop on your hands. But I don't still, care if it's in that area. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, one friend of mine that I know in Florida, she doesn't, I mean, this person doesn't believe in the mask thing, but boy, they really had some words for uh, Walmart, which they called Walfart. But basically, they were saying, you know what, if we just practice the proper social distancing and how about Walmart not only have three uh, registers open, but have them all open and spread them out. I mean, you could easily social distance in that place, but they're not even doing it correctly. And they're not sanitizing or anything between each customer. So what's the point? Yeah, well, you know, that's my place of business. You know, when you go to the customer waiting area, customer lounge at a car dealership. They got these like leather chairs that everybody sits in, and when someone gets out of the chair, someone else should, they should have someone there if if they if they if they care. But the problem is, is, is none of these, none of these places. I don't see that happening anywhere. Is when someone gets out of a different chair that there's someone to follow up, to wipe things down, and make sure it's sanitized. Now maybe it's happening in these restaurants that are you know, that can open at fifty percent capacity. I don't know because. I haven't been to a inside inside a restaurant where they're all sitting down. My guess is it's probably not happening there either. But anyways, I don't know how we got on this topic. I, I so it was me, I'm sure. I get on this topic many times. I did probably. <laughs> uh, I hate wearing masks. I hate it, but I wear them out of out of respect. I, I do for other people, but I, I ref, you know, as I, as I go into the place, I put it on. As I come out of the place, I take it off. I'm not wearing it around the parking lot. Right. Me you know, I'm not wearing it when I get out to pump my gas. Nope. You know, I'm not wearing it too. These people, I see them wearing it in their car, you know. It's like. Yeah, no, that I draw the line there. It's like, what's the point of doing that? You're in your car by yourself. I've seen, I've seen people extra out running on sidewalks with masks and gloves on. Yeah, no. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense. I mean, they tell you, I mean, that, that's just not using your common sense to me anyway. Yeah. And I think if you don't have the proper one on, you're not you're not doing any good. To me, it's to me it's virtue signaling. It really is. If you're not wearing the proper mask, because those cloth ones they've proven. Three percent chance. Really? Unless you got the filter, then it's a little better, but yeah. What do I know? Yeah, we don't watch people do the number two there, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you know, when you're in a stall next to someone, or someone comes out of the stall, chances are, and the, when they walk right out of the right out of the bathroom after coming out of the stall, then that's that's pretty sick. And they walk out the yeah. door. Yep. Yeah. Especially and, you, and you go out and you make contact with other people. You shake hands. You touch countertops. You you know, I can see why they have like coffee machines at my work where self serve, you know, shut down because people are just you know you can't you can't depend on other people to do the right thing. So. I ain't watching shit. Hey Raven. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Right. You you have them, you have them, you have them deliver your damn ice cream to the house. <laughs> I don't have to leave. Right. Doesn't most of your scrap come to you? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't that, that, a, isn't that's, that cool. a, that's how I think I got sick. Oh. Because I don't go anywhere. Well, it would have to be how you got sick then, right? I'm thinking. Well, I mean, you don't, again, if you don't go anywhere, unless one of your kids brought it, but you know, none of your kids had it, so... That's how I'm thinking. Yeah. 
Well, again, you got a lot of people touching a lot of stuff that was they were dropping off at your house. But you would think a lot of that stuff, though, too, that it would oh, – but, again, you're taking it – it depends on how, how soon from the time they put it on the truck and you were taking it off the truck, right? Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, not not all those guys that do those hourly jobs like that are they're the cleanest people. I mean, we got guys that work in the back at our dealership that, you know, they look like they just rolled out of bed. Their hair is – up and you know going every direction and they're back there cleaning the cars and whatnot so yeah. but i have a lot of hard times breathing too now so. well you only got one lung well it, it's affected me worse than i thought it did <clears throat> if you listen to my videos or when i talk i'm always clearing my throat I feel like i got a big snot ball there all the time yeah, maybe I do. they say it does does affect your lungs <clears throat> longer yeah longer 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 See, I, I have allergies, and I, well, I just posted it in the chat, but I have allergies, and putting anything on my nose, it, it just makes me want to uh, sneeze, and I'm constantly sniffing, <laughs> and I, I have you know breathing issues, too, so you put that on after a while, I feel like I'm starting to asphyxiate. Yeah. Yeah, my only breathing issue is because I'm fat. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, I have that same issue, Phil. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, Phil's fat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phil, I, I got to get going, but it was great talking to you guys. Good to see you, Saxon. Likewise. Likewise. It was nice meeting you. Have a good one, my brother. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I met you once before, Gil, so. Oh, I'll see you around. Yeah, yes. definitely. You guys take care. Have a good rest of the night. Take mm -hmm. care, Matt. Hey. And yeah. then there were four. And there were four. How come Annie ain't up here today? I don't know. She's being funny since uh, her man came back in town. So. Oh. And, then, and, then, and then earlier she was at her mom, so she may still be at her mom, so. Oh. Raven, can you come up and act normal? Oh, if I God. let you up, Raven, and I know this is a stretch for you, Raven. Don't do it. I'll leave. I know this is a stretch for you, Raven. Can you come up and act normal? <laughs> What's Bob do? Bob's looking all over the place, huh? What's normal? That's my question. What's normal? <laughs> it ain't Raven. That's for sure. <laughs> well, he he's like some people. When he gets on a topic that he he is sure they and he is confident about, he will talk about it, and there is no change in his mind. Oh, I know. We've we've had that on my my panels too. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, Stye's the same way. I, honestly, when Stye is when Stye is set in his way on something, when he has made a decision, this is what he, there is no there is no telling him anything different that is that's that's how he believes and that's how he's going to and that's what he is going to defend so there he is <laughs> sit right there and shut up <laughs> just, just follow my lead do, do what I'm doing just sit here and shut up just take up a square that's all you gotta do <laughs> Mike sound a little grumpy today. <laughs> it's good to see you, Raven. How's life treating you, buddy? Oh, that's Raven. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I thought that was somebody else. Oh, that's awesome. You you, I think you're I think you're muted, Raven. Perfect. You sound great, Raven. That, I, 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 that's one way to, you know, see make you sure sound great, man. Right. <laughs> How you doing, Raven? Good to see you, man. What You're good. Saying? Good. Oh, uh, we lost him. That was That's quick. That, that was a drive by. <laughs> drive by. Hello, and how are you? That, that was that was the shortest uh, spit we've ever had with Raven on the panel, ever. That's that New Mexico. <laughs> New Mexico internet. Yeah. Oh my God! Leave me alone, people. Who's messaging you? Is it Ann? It's got to be Ann. No, Thank Mo Homesteading. Mo Homesteading. Imagine. Uh, are you here lurking, Mo? I don't know if she's here. 
Mo's usually lurking. I'm doing my live stream, and she wants some of these uh, different heat sinks. Uh huh. For crafts or some crap. And you know, they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Oh, so how many of what? She said a, a 12 of each. I said, you know how many different <laughs> kinds there are? So I'm going to send her 12 of each, but she's going to need like a forklift to pick the box up. What's up, Tim? Well, show me that again. We I, It looks like the things that come, are they like a car part? No, they're the heat, the heat sink. sink. Yeah. They're what? Let's see. Out of a computer, Bill. Oh, okay. CPU sits like that. Um, Oh, okay. It distributes the heat from the processor so it don't burn yeah. out. Right. Well, there's, there's, there's different, there's different wow. shapes and thicknesses and sizes and all it's all, fun. It's all um, uh, what do they call that? It's, a, <clears throat> it's not milled. It's um, extruded. Extruded. Thank you. Extruded, extruded aluminum. aluminum, aluminum. See, aluminum. Stuff. Good stuff. Some of, some of these will have a, a copper core in them. So now I've been taking the copper core out of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a heck of so, a core. Yeah. Well, this little jar here is four pounds. Yo, remember this jar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm going to have to borrow that for my, my Skittles experiment. Yeah. This yeah. is how you open Skittles. I still remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. They add up really quick, and then I exactly, got Julia. Exactly. It's like a radiator for your electric. It's funny because there's a guy that's got one of those on his desk in the service department, and he's got business cards like standing in the little grooves on it. Yeah. And I always thought it was some kind of some kind of part they took out of a car or something. No, and then like if this was this is not the CPU, but if this was the CPU, this would sit on the bottom, and then you got a fan that sits on top of it. Yep, sucks all the heat out of it. Yeah, so it sucks all the heat up. So this will absorb the heat, but then it gets blown out by the fan. Really? What I call these is money. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what they are on the end. Yeah. Good morning. I had quite a uh, uh, Well, yeah. Phil, I hate to do it, but I'm going to hop off. Uh, all right, Gil. Well, you have a good night. We'll yes. probably be ending this a little bit anyway. So good to see you tonight, Gil. Thanks for uh, joining sure. us. Do appreciate much it. Love. Much love, everybody. It was fun Have seeing you all in the chat. Have a good night. Have a Thank good you. one, man. Yep. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Oh, I hate that. I do, too. <laughs> that bad. Oh, I'm so close. Ah. <laughs> eh. I'll ask him, big lady, but I'm sure he hasn't. She What's wants that? To found those glass things yet, Mike. Mike? I asked. I, I gave her the look. You gave her the look. Have you seen you me get, get off, have you seen me get off my ass? Nope. Nope. <laughs> She's okay, never mind. <laughs> I told you where they're at. They're in that pile back there, or they're in that pile way back there. Did you send me your address yet? No. <laughs> so even if I did find them, I couldn't send them. Raven. Hello, Raven. 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 Yeah, I hear you. Raven. Yes, I hear everybody. Raven. Wow, hey, but, but look Raven. at this moving. That's kind of cool. That's a new I can't hear you, man. I can't, are you, is your audio bad? Blink once for yes, two for no. Well, it should be fine. What? Wait, you can hear us. Yeah, he can hear us, but you're you're like way delayed. Yeah. Take your glasses and put them straight. Maybe the antenna's not right. <laughs> you still cannot hear me now? It's like way, way, way delayed. Yeah. 
we can hear you, but when you're done talking, then your lips are starting to move. You got like that that uh, real bad Chinese movie thing going on. <laughs> is that uh, in, in, incorrect to say Chinese movie? No. Okay. Not that I care. Like Chinese virus. Chinese virus came from China. <laughs> you got the, the Ebola guy. Yes, I sent you email this afternoon. I'm going to check right now. Uh, today, uh, Nimmy, me and you are going to have is a way, Can you guys hear me now? Or I'm still delayed? You're, you're, you're still delayed some. Action. Actually, I'm just getting about ready to get out of here. I was trying to see if there was anybody that we could raid. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody uh, knows anybody out there uh, that visits the channel. Channel. Let's see here. Do do inbox. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I don't see anybody. Let you guys see. figure out. <laughs> Well, I don't see anybody. All right, well, let's do this, guys. I don't see B Lady in here. Nope. So we're going to wrap it up, folks. We've been on here for two hours. I do want to thank Mike, Gil, Granny, everyone that was up on the panel tonight, Blake. I appreciate everyone that came up tonight. Uh, everybody in the chat, Will the Rocker Will, B Lady, Taylor to the Stars. Everybody hanging out over there, Saucy, Shane, B-Lady. I appreciate everyone coming in tonight. Hey, guys, have a good night. Keep it spicy. Keep it spicy. Spicy. Night, everybody.